Hello everyone, so this time video about combinations you can do with start chat uh, form as there is many options in general. So first thing uh, to look is to go to settings, go to start chat form settings and go to default settings. So as we see now there is uh, name and, and uh, message. Let's say we want to be visible on the message, we disable these two, we refresh, so we have message. Now a question of how to get this nice look we have on live developer chat uh, demo. So we go to additional form settings, we check, we show message uh, box above input fields, we update, refresh and we get something like this. Uh, this live is enabled automatically only if you have on the uh, message field enabled. If you have some other field, it automatically falls back to previous loop. Next thing we want to show like uh, operator message. So we check this one. Uh, we refresh and we have uh, this way looking form. Next thing, for example, we want to change this logo in a start chat form, how to do it. Uh, the easiest way is just to create a new team. Let's try. Let's try and let's make default look. Just quickly save it. Go to teams again and set it as default. So, that's uh, you see I change the header a little bit color so you can you can change it back to whatever you want <laughs> so let's go to widget container header and make it a little bit lighter okay update and we have something like this now about changing the logo logo can be changed in, uh, in not online image here yeah, operator image in chat widget we search for logo open and update so we have this logo and if we refresh we have this uh, logo now about the text uh, here and here this you can also change in uh, i guess in uh, it's somewhere it's one of these uh, <laughs> settings just so i suggest you just to play around and see which one you want to have uh, here so basically that's the changes you can do for the widget uh, quickly you can also change the messages colors here so next thing for example you want some intro message to appear here so easiest way it is actually to create a bot thing uh, like for example uh, we can go to bot list okay we have this bot let's see what's inside it and it is just default and there is text how do you do okay so for example if we it's not a default so that's fine we go to again to teams Default log and widget container. Not here. We, I need to find it. Uh, it's somewhere here. So we choose a bot and we choose default trigger and we click update. And if we now just uh, refresh, you see we have a message here. Also, let's say we want this nice bubble style message. Go to message style and uh, bubble. Let's make it this and hide visitor icon. We don't need date. Refresh. Okay, so we have something like this. And if uh, I'm uh, visitor, okay, so you see visitor may be stored, but also this m message is kept. And chat is, uh, is also kept uh, as. Uh, as pending i guess yeah there is pending chat here also so but you see uh, this style uh, changed uh, to this previous uh, operator profile this one also i think can be 
change just a moment now as the chat is started it started with a bot so we have to change bot uh, profile image we go to bot list we click go edit choose we choose logo free open let's save it and click control f5 and we have bot uh, bot profile so we have pretty modern look already so the next thing uh, you can change like uh, uh, this pop-up uh, what options you can see and similar things so but it's already looking pretty good so basically that's that's all and there's really a lot more tricks you can do with subchat forms and uh, all these options bye